In the first video I suggested that these new sounds are not particularly useful for creating melodies and that's not strictly true, it is just very difficult to get to work properly. The trick seems to be to use initially longer sample loops so that when it interacts with the lo-fi mat you get a much stronger tonal quality of sound, like you can hear here. When I created that it was found to have a very strong correlation to the pitch of C. And so when they're played together you can hear that they fit quite nicely. The problem occurs where you have to approximate other pitches, they don't line up as well across the scale because as you can remember when you play across the scale it sounds very unpredictable. So you have to use trial and error. Here we have uh, some E's and these were found to sound close to proper G's and some A sharps and these were found to sound quite close to proper B's. The other challenge is it's not possible to approximate all of the actual pitches without some small nudging. Here we have the 01 command, that's pitch up, and if you use 2A, this was found to correlate to a G sharp. And if we take a look at this pattern, we have some Bs with 0155, Es here with 0110, and at the bottom some Bs with 012A. It takes quite a while to figure out the exact correlation between these numbers and proper pitches on the western scale but all this trial and error does pay off because now we can use these strange industrial sounds with proper pitched orchestral instruments.